So if you have added any new components like a solid state drive or RAM, try removing those to see if it's a compatibility issue. Uh, next thing we're going to discuss, any sort of USB, DVDs, extra devices, try removing those, see if those are causing your blue screen error. Next, we're going inside your computer. With my laptop, I'm unplugging it and taking my battery out, and I'm looking for an easy access panel. Uh, or if you don't have an easy access panel, you can look up a disassembly video. If you have a desktop, usually there's a panel you can remove to get inside. We're going to look at your RAM. RAM is a big cause for this blue screen error. Um, we're going to remove it one at a time by pulling on the little arms and pulling it out. And once we remove one stick, we're going to test to see if that's causing it by hitting the power button. If you still have a blue screen error, okay, we're going to try the other RAM stick. If it's gone, then you know that was the problem. Because RAM is kind of like headlights on a car where they tend to go bad one at a time. So I'm going to switch sticks, once again try turning on my computer and see if the blue screen error goes away. If you still have that blue screen error, that means you need to move on to the next step in the troubleshooting process. Uh, it's very unlikely for two RAM sticks to go bad at the same time. But if you find that you remove that RAM stick and magically your blue screen error is gone, then you need to replace that RAM stick that's outside the computer. Uh, we have down below in the description links to replacement RAM that will bring you to Amazon. Uh, if you need suggestions and how you match them up is this code right here. It'll say something like PC4 dash number or PC3 dash. That is the uh, that is the part number you're looking for. Now, next step, we're going to hit power. And then we're going to tap on Alt and F10 at the same time to access your recovery manager. You might have to try this a couple of times. It can be tricky. But as a side note, if you can't get into the recovery manager where we're going to go to reset your computer, you may need to reinstall instead. If sometimes when your operating system is too corrupt, this portion won't work. So we have a video down below on how to reinstall your operating system. But now that we are accessing recovery manager. You're going to use your arrow keys and arrow down to troubleshoot and then hit enter and then hit enter on reset this PC. Now you have two options to keep my files option tends not to work as well uh, but it does keep your files so you don't lose anything. The remove everything option tends to work better but you lose all your data so I select that hit enter. You can always try the keep my files option first and then try the remove everything after if you want to try to keep the data you have. If you're just more concerned with getting it to work, then try and remove everything. Next thing, I'm going to hit fully clean the drive because I am going to just try to save this computer and get rid of everything because it tends to be more effective. And then I'm going to hit enter. Now, at this point, if your reset keeps erroring out, once again, that means that your operating system is probably too corrupt or if it gets stuck at like 30 for like three hours and it just won't progress, it gets to the point where you probably just need to reinstall the operating system. Just a clean slate, wipe the whole thing clean and build it from the ground up. And we have a video in the description on how to do that. It's easier than you would think. Next step. Okay, so nothing works. Reinstalling isn't working then you most likely need to replace the hard drive. It just, uh, through the process of elimination, that's the point we've come to. Uh, down below, we have the most common uh, replacement options for hard drives for your desktop or laptop. We have Amazon links. We also have upgrade options for, uh, to a solid state drive listed down below, and it'll bring you to the corresponding Amazon listings. Uh, just confirm that that's what you need to, uh, for your specific model of Acer, although we listed the most common replacement parts uh, down below. And you have any questions about compatibility, go ahead and leave them in the questions below and we'll do our best to get back to you. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and one of our certified repair technicians will answer you. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.